Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm Noba, your expert AI plumbing assistant from No Labs Plumber Shop. What do you see? I see a video of you with a guitar in the background. You're wearing glasses and a black shirt. I don't see any plumbing issues in the video. Could you please show me the plumbing problem? The leak could be due to a pressure issue in the boiler system. You mentioned pressure valves. I see two pressure relief valves on the side of the boiler. If these are leaking, it means that the pressure in the boiler is too high. You should replace these valves to prevent any damage. We have two of these valves in stock right now, and they are ready to ship. Would you like me to add this to your order and provide you with the installation tips? All right. I have added two pressure relief valves and the plumbing service to your order. The total comes to $125. And what about Is there A? Once the order has been placed, you will receive an email with a link to securely pay online using your preferred payment method. Man, this is amazing. I'm recording this video at approximately now what? Midnight, 12 a.m. And I don't think I'm going to have any sleep tonight because I'm so much pumped up. Probably you can tell me from my face. Anyway, the reason why I'm recording this video is to tell you about Gemini 2.0. But I'm sure you have already heard about it, probably in YouTube or in the news. And if not, please stay tuned until the next video. Because I'm going to explain that in details, even the code of their playground, how it's working and everything. I spent approximately three hours this evening after our uh, SAS course meetup, just to understand how it's all working, uh, especially coming from the live kit web RTC stuff that I was doing in this channel before. So it, it took a while for me to refresh my brain and understand the playground code that Google have offered as part of their Gemini 2.0 launch. And as soon as I have gotten some understanding of it, I had to apply it in an appropriate business use case as that's what we do in this channel, don't we? So you hit that subscribe button because you definitely don't want to miss the future videos in this channel. I promise you, there's so much interesting stuff coming. But I'm not going to waste any more time of yours. And let's straight go into the screen and let me show you the demo first. Shall we? Let's now see the custom application that we have built with Gemini 2.0 and see how that works. Shall we? So let me go back to my editor, the code editor, of course, and let's start the application. So npm start. And so there you go. That's our application, no labs plumber shop. Uh, so we have now gone from a dental agency to a plumber shop. And the idea here is basically uh, this plumber shop will have, of course, it's an e-commerce website. It will be listing all its product. And now it has added this new feature where it has uh, created an AI bot, which can actually talk with uh, an user, see issues through it because it's a plumbing related shop. So it will, it can identify plumbing related issues and it can suggest uh, if there is any issues there and something needs to be changed and it can eventually order the part uh, immediately whenever the bot is uh, interacting and seeing the issues basically. So let's try that whether it's working or not. So we'll just click here and i'm just going to minimize my face here and it says i'm a plumbing assistant from no labs plumber shop and there is this button here which will initiate or start the um, communication so let's start hey can you hear me yes i can hear you i'm noba your expert ai plumbing assistant from no labs plumber shop i'm here to help with any plumbing issues you might have could you please show me the plumbing problem you're dealing with just share my screen um what do you see I see a video of you with a guitar in the background. You're wearing glasses and a black shirt. I don't see any plumbing issues in the video. Could you please show me the plumbing problem? That's that's fine. I'm going to take you to the boiler that uh, uh, where I'm facing some issues. Just hold on a minute and then I'm going to just show you that and uh, you can help me identify the issue. Sure. I understand that you're going to show me the boiler. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll be waiting and ready to assist you. Sure. Now I have mute myself, myself and I'm going to take uh, this to my boiler and, and see how it works. So let's pause the video. I have now come here to the place where my boiler is. It's not at the fanciest place in the house. Of course, it's a bit dark area. So I just hope that this um, application is able to see the boiler through and be able to help me. I'm just going to use 
the torch and just show it and see if it can help yeah so let me actually first show the boiler and then let's unmute hello can you hear me yes i can hear you i see the boiler now thank you what seems to be the issue that you're experiencing yeah so you see this black tandish i am uh, seeing some water leaking through it and i'm not sure what the issue is okay i see the black tundish it appears that you have a leak coming from the tundish and this needs to be addressed quickly i recommend replacing the tundish with a new one right away we have one of this exact part in stock this is a relatively easy diy job that could take you about 30 minutes and i can guide you through the process are you interested in ordering this part um, and having I me don't think it's tundish issue because I have just replaced it few days few days back. Can you please check it through because what I have heard there is some pressure valve issues and stuff, so I can see there are a couple of pressure valves there. Okay, I understand. If the tundish is new, the leak could be due to a pressure issue in the boiler system. You mentioned pressure valves. I see two pressure relief valves on the side of the boiler. If these are leaking, it means that the pressure in the boiler is too high. You should replace these valves to prevent any damage. We have two of these valves in stock right now, and they are ready to ship. Would you like me to add this to your order and provide you with the installation tips? Uh, is that easy to install? No. Or do I need to have a plumber? Replacing a pressure relief valve can be a DIY job if you are comfortable with basic plumbing tasks, and it can take around 30 to 45 minutes. You'll need a wrench, some PTFE tape, and possibly a towel to catch any drips. However, if you are not confident doing it yourself, it's best to hire a professional plumber for safety and to ensure it's done right. Are you comfortable with doing it yourself? Or should I provide you with the contact information for our plumbing service? I mean, yeah, that would be great if you can give me a plumbing service as well as part of the order. Absolutely, I can help you with that. I'll add the two pressure relief valves to your order and provide the contact information for our plumbing service. We have two of these pressure relief valves in stock, so I recommend you complete the order now before they are gone. Would you like to proceed with placing the order? And um, how much does this cost? The price for each pressure relief valve is $25. Oh, oh, so the total cost for two would be $50, and the plumbing service is an additional $75. Therefore, the total amount for the two pressure relief valves in the plumbing service would be $125. Does this work for you? Um, do I need to actually have both the uh, you know, pressure valve or one should be okay? Given your boiler has two pressure relief valves, it's recommended to replace both at the same time to ensure they function correctly and evenly. Replacing just one could lead to uneven pressure distribution and potential further issues. Would you like me to keep both on the order, or would you prefer to remove one valve for now? Oh, that's fine. Let's skip it too and let's complete the order. I have also included our plumbing service contact information. Once you confirm the order, I will ship the parts right away. Please note that we have only two pressure relief valves in stock. Yeah, Do you I, confirm? I let's complete the order. Thank you. Great. Your order for two pressure relief valves and the plumbing service is now confirmed. The total amount is $125. We'll ship your parts out immediately. You can expect them to arrive within two to three business days. And what about is there okay? Once the order has been placed, you will receive an email with a link to securely pay online using your preferred payment method. Is there anything else you need help with? No, that's all. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to No Labs Plumber Shop. Have a great So that was it. This application, again, it's not fine-tuned. The underlying instructions is not fine-tuned. The API call for putting the order and all this stuff is using mock service at the moment as part of the demo. Uh, but those can be fixed in, what, in a day with AI coding abilities that we have today. And I think months before, I said that this is going to be the future of websites. And, um, and if you really want to be into the forefront of it, I would really suggest you I recommend you to join the SaaS course that I have already pre-launched through this channel. And uh, because as most of the pre-launch members, SaaS masterminds are coming from different business background into the course, into our weekly catch-ups and sharing their ideas in, in the course. 
So it's not like a traditional Udemy course that you take in a different online platform, right? So all this custom app that I'm building, I'm anyway giving this away to the course members and all the app ideas that I'm building is also, I'm just giving it away, all the codes and everything. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk more about it and make it an advertisement video rather. You can go to the community for free and check out the previous meetup sessions uh, for absolutely free first to decide if the course is right for you to join. Um, regardless, just hit that subscribe button as many more interesting videos are coming up into the channel, including the next video where I will do the deep dive of Gemini 2.0. And I promise you haven't seen that much deep drive about the playground component in anywhere in YouTube before. So with that said, I'm going to end this video and going to start hit record button for the next video. So stay tuned, take care, and I'll see you on to the next one.